Uh, this is one of the worst I've ever seen. I was in uh, Groden in 1977 and we lost 15 structures and this compares with that. It's pretty, pretty massive. 2010 may very well be remembered as the year of nature's discontent. Ice storms, snowstorms, and now this. 11. Steel transmission towers north of Baudel, South Dakota, destroyed by a tornado. Nine flattened, one bent in half, and one completely gone. Pieces are found 400 yards away over the hill. The line carries electricity from Basin Electric's Antelope Valley Station near Beulah, North Dakota, to the Broadland substation near Huron, South Dakota. The tornado damage happened between two sections of line damaged in the ice storm in January. We've had 100 mile an hour winds, we've had six inch thick ice, they've withstood all that for 30 years, and uh, you know, when that tornado comes in, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it had to have been maybe a couple hundred mile an hour winds. He's right. The tornado was rated by the National Weather Service as an EF4 with winds between 166 and 200 miles an hour. It's so much damage and we expected to find four or five towers at most and, and when we came up with a number of 11 it was, it was really overwhelming. And Crews from all eight maintenance shops are here tying off lines, unloading steel and getting ready to rebuild. Repairs will take about four weeks if the weather cooperates. But it's just a mess, you know. It's, I guess you can say it's kind of lucky that it happens out here in the middle of nowhere instead of, you know, bottles only like two miles away. A farmstead north of town gets hit hard. The family is fortunate to escape injury. Of the half a dozen buildings, only the house is left standing. I was at my farm just three miles south of here, and uh, I could see it building, you know, and I was hoping it wouldn't uh, hit town, you know, and... But uh, I said, it's going to hit some farms the way it looked. And when I came in from the farm, I could see the roof missing on their house from where I was. So I knew they had some damage. I didn't know how severe it was. So Friends and neighbors rally behind the family to help pick up the pieces. The day after, there must have been uh, probably 70, 80 people here, you know, driving around cleaning up out in the field so he can put his crops in when they're ready. Debris from the farm is wrapped up in the transmission line's conductor. This used to be a boat. Three miles of conductor and the towers are total losses. They'll be scrapped. Crews building the new towers are faced with weeks of work over muddy terrain. We got that one truck stuck already over the hill. You know, it's just, it's going to get in the, these potholes. I mean, they've got a lot of rain, water sitting around, so that adds to the challenge, you know. I feel as though it's, it's good experience. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's, you just got to take it one day at a time and look at it as a bunch of little jobs rather than one big job, you know, and, and uh, just take one day at a time. So, For Basin Electric, I'm Aaron Huntimer.